So thank you very much for bearing with my messy handwriting during this uh, topic of Lagrangians. It's the final video on it, and I just wanted to show you the final equations of motion, well, one of the equations of motion that you get from this system. So uh, in the previous video, I showed you how to derive it. Um, so I'll just click over that. If you didn't watch it, uh, we use the small angle approximation, which is that uh, cos theta is equal to this um, to make this simpler to solve. And then we put this into the Euler-Lagrange equation uh, and see because we have x and theta, two coordinates, we have end up with two um, Euler-Lagrange equations. Um, and so then from there, we can use uh, the fact that you just use simultaneous equations uh, to solve it. So we end up with uh, theta double dot is equal to negative g m plus m all over big M L theta. So I don't know how, to f how familiar this will look to you. At first you might think that it's not familiar at all. Um, however, uh, I'm just going to remind you of uh, this equation that you would have seen at the very, very beginning of the course uh, in everyday physics. So this is Hooke's law, F equals a negative KX. So it's for a spring. So we remember that F is equal to MA but a is equal to x double dot, so that's m x double dot. So we have m x double dot is equal to negative k x, or x double dot is equal to negative k on m x. So if you remember that, this is describing the motion of our spring, and what we would say is that therefore this would be a spring that would oscillate with a period that is omega equal to square root of this, so that's k over m. So now we can see there's quite a bit of similarity between here and this. And in fact, uh, we have almost the exact same form. So we can write that this is simply a simple harmonic oscillator. It's what we would call because it's undergoing simple harmonic motion with a period uh, of the square root of g m plus m over big M l. So I don't know about you, but I think that's a pretty phenomenal result that we can, uh, applying a few quite valid approximations uh, and using the Euler-Lagrange equation, we can solve uh, and find the motion, at least of the angular part of this system. It is simply undergoing, if we assume there's no friction, simply undergoing simple harmonic motion, uh, just going back and forth, which I think is quite astounding. Um, if you're interested, you can also look up uh, how to fully describe the system. Um, but that's kind of beyond the scope of this. Uh, this is not accessible anyway, so I decided to leave that bit out. Um, just show you this bit, just to show you really the, the, the true power of uh, Lagrangian mechanics. You can see, using Newtonian mechanics, this would have been very difficult to reach. Um, while using Lagrangian mechanics, it falls out really nicely.